forward. She's not dealing with, you know, serious injuries. But it did put her on the back foot. She hasn't had a lot of racing for a long time. And you're right, the big questions going forward are, you know, Via Sistina, she's going to be a Cox Plate horse. You just want to see her hitting the line stylishly. James would have had his choice of on course. anyone in this field, and he's gone with Fangirl. Yeah, any one of the Waller runners at least. He's got a big soft spot for Via Sistina. Um, obviously, you know, winning an Oaks on Zardozzi, he won Group 1s on a tissue down at Flemington as well, and he's won two derbies on Riff Rocket. <laughs> and I think all three of Zugotcha's group ones. Yep. <laughs> Gives you a good indication. Yeah. And he has opted to stick with the Cerise, the Ingham-owned fangirl, the winner of this big race last year. Can she go back-to-back -back in the past? Won by Animo, Mwonga, very elegant, and Winks on three occasions. We're nearly all set. It's the first group one of the season. It's the Winks Stakes over the 1,400. Here's Darren Flindell. Fangirl, the $2.60 favourite. And they're off and racing now, and Tropical Squall bounded out of the gates a clear leader. From Samana, who scoots straight into second position, just fine handy with detonated Jack. They're followed after two lengths to say wreck, then Zardozzi, Fangirl. Via Sustina behind from Riff Rocket, then came a tissue. And dropping back to last is Buckaroo. Tropical Squall in front and Zoo Gotcha probing right up behind. Tropical Squall holds the front by a length and a half on Zoo Gotcha. Two lengths to Samana, a touch keen on the outside, a detonator jack. A length further back to Just Fine, they're at the 800. Two lengths then to Zarek. Similar margin to Zardozzi, racing on the inside of Fangirl. They're followed then by Via Sustina, is back on the inside, running rail, covered up by Riff Rocket, although Riff just lost a length or so there. And Fangirl. Girls getting the head up in the air as well at the 600 metres. Where Tropical Squall shows the way by length on Zoo Gotcha in second, then detonator Jack Samana. Just fine, Zardozzi. Boy, Fangirl gives away a big start. Via Sustina pinching ground towards the inside. Tropical Squall at the 300 from Zoo Gotcha. It travels up. Zoo Gotcha takes the lead now from Samana. They beat off Tropical Squall. Four lengths away to Fangirl. Zoo Gotcha in front, 150 out. Zoo Gotcha from Samana. Fangirl late. Via Sustina's charging. Zoo gotcha in front from Via Sustina. Oh, photo finish. Via Sustina rattling home. Joins Zoo gotcha on the wire. Could go either way. Then detonator Jack Fangirl. Zardozzi, Simona next from Riff Rocket at Tissue. Further back, Buckaroo just fine. And Tropical Squall was last in. Oh, we got a contest, didn't we? Via Sustina, 1,400 metres. Wasn't sure it was her go. And the market said no, but... We think it could be Visa Sustina, but we do have a photo with Zoo Gotcha, who was so brave there as well for Tommy Berry and Chris Waller. She's always thereabouts. She sat closer today. So it was pinching ground on the inside for Via Sistina and Kieran McAvoy. Tommy Berry in the middle of the track in those fluoro green colours, and they go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head to head. And the photo will give it to Via, Via Sistina. Wow, she has returned in top order. Yeah, she's just gone out the way that uh, she has come back in now. A group one winner. We were watching her during the run, and I mentioned, geez, she's got a big action. And all Karen needed to do was find a bit of clear air so she could wind into herself. And he just wrote her so patiently. He said, look, I know you're going to be better over further. I'm giving you every opportunity. But that toe-to-toe -to -toe performance from Zoo Gotchu, Via Sistina, Fangle flashing late. All three are in for a great preparation. Chris Waller has now won this race eight times. He's now trifected this race. He's won it with his very favourite mare, Winks, three times. This race possibly could be called the Chris Waller Winks Stakes. Yeah, at some point in time, I won't put that out of the realms of possibility, but that's a huge performance by a mare who's got big targets inside this spring. Make no doubt about it. She's a Group 1 winner over the 2,000 here in Australia, and she's won a Group 1 first up for...